So it is uh, almost that time again. It's about that time, at least where I live. It's like gonna be 102 degrees this weekend. It's abnormal, I know. But it is starting to warm up in most parts of the Northern Hemisphere, and I decided that it was about time to try on some new bathing suits. I love Aerie, they're some of my favorite bathing suits that exist in the world right now. I have worked with Aerie in the past, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I purchased all of this with my own money, this is my own honest opinion. I love Aerie because I feel like they're super affordable, they definitely have room for improvement when it comes to size inclusivity, they only go up to a 2XL. I really, really look forward to the day where they expand their sizing like American Eagle has done with their jeans. I really hope that that will come like very soon. I have heard people who are like a size 18 to 20 be able to wear the double XL, but that's not like super size inclusive. You know, people exist outside of those sizes. So I just want to fully acknowledge that before we jump in. But I ordered, I think like five different bathing suits. I ordered some two pieces, some one pieces, because I know a lot of you, I feel like especially for brands like Airy, American Eagle, Target, the more kind of like affordable, attainable brands. I get so many questions asking to try on kind of some of the newer stuff that's available because it's like a guinea pig situation like I always talk about. I can test it out and let you know how it fits on me and my body and if I recommend it, how the quality is, etc, etc. So yeah, like I mentioned, I think like five or six bathing suits. If for some reason this brand in particular is not for you, totally understand. There will be other videos that include more sustainable fashion options, more size inclusive options, etc in the future, but today Today, this is what we're trying on. I can already tell this is gonna be a long chatty one So I'm not gonna waste your time any longer. Let's jump in. All right, so coming right out of the gate We're gonna start strong. We're gonna go bold and we have picked out a red bathing suit Now I honestly don't know if I've ever had like a straight-up red bathing suit I feel like red is one of those colors that you associate at least for me being a 90s baby with like Baywatch and like super hot lifeguard and I've sort of shied away from it I think number one because I don't like to draw attention to myself sometimes when it comes to that or my body and also because I don't know I've just never really seen a red bathing suit that I loved but I saw this number and I was like hmm the top that I picked out is a little like tiny bit more of a long line and it's just this really cute kind of just basic almost looks like the bralettes that I wear type of top and my boobs are kind of they have a life of their own like they're very wild spirits so we'll see if they're gonna be able to be contained I ordered this in a size extra large and then for the bottoms to go with it I picked out this pair which is a high-waisted sort of like ruched here in the front very full coverage bottom I will say that this year you know as opposed to other years when I've been picking out airy swimsuits I didn't feel like there were as many high-waisted bottom options and I felt a little bit more limited this time so just something I thought I would mention these bottoms I'm not sure how they're gonna fit. I actually ordered these in another color for the next suit that I'll show you, but when you're looking at them off the body, just kind of head on, they do look a little maybe like matronly, but I don't know how that's gonna translate when I put them on my body. I ordered this in a size extra large as well. So yeah, I've never done just like a solid red. I've done like oranges and orangey reds, but never just red straight up. So let's see how it looks. Here we have the first number. I'm actually, okay, by the way, for those of you wondering, yes, I am wearing my underwear. Underneath this, I feel like there are gonna be people that are like, ew, gross. I'm wearing like full butt underwear under this. And if you see any spots of my skin going very red, it's just me as a human being. There are like tags poking out on my skin, it's just very sensitive. So anyways, when I first tried this on, I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I don't think I like it. But now I'm kind of looking at it a little more and I'm like, actually it's not that bad. So my first impressions are the bottoms are actually amazing. Like I was kind of hating on them, but I really do kind of love the way they look. And the ruching to me doesn't look matronly at all. It's very high waisted, which for me is always a plus when it comes to bathing suits. I just like things to be over my belly button and I have a pretty long torso so it's no easy feat and I'm actually pretty impressed by this like this actually looks good it's pretty good butt coverage as well and then here is what the back of the suit looks like like the top right here is just kind of like straight across so there's no adjusting but there are adjustable straps in the back here and here's the thing that like I was initially feeling iffy about when I looked in the mirror and that is the fact that sometimes I have what they would call pancake boobs it's just you know one of those things where like grab Gravity happens, you're not always as perky as you once were. And I think that's perfectly normal. And so like my initial thought was to 
put the straps up as high as I possibly could and make it like a push-up situation. But when I did that, it was like kind of, it was really tight. It was like cutting into my back. So just having it be, it's like normal loose setting for me anyways with my bra size, which I think I'm like a C cup maybe. Be? I don't know. This is where I feel the most comfortable. So I actually do kind of like this. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, let the pancake boobs fly free this summer. Like, let them breathe. Let them swing around in all directions. Honestly, no matter what shape of boobs, even if you don't have boobs, any chest shape or circumference or length, literally just like let them hang out this summer. You know, we have we have been through it. Who cares what anyone thinks? I know for me personally, the last thing I'm thinking about when I'm going to the beach or the pool this summer is like what someone thinks of my body. Like we just survived one of the craziest things that will ever happen in our lifetime, God, I hope. So many other serious things going on in the world right now. So if you are kind of on the fence or you don't really know how to feel, maybe you're emerging post lockdown or quarantine quarantine with a different body than when you started and I just want to remind you that your only job during this entire time has been to survive and you've done that so please give yourself some grace. So you can catch me at the beach this summer with you know nipples, <laughs> areolas hanging out, things swinging around everywhere because I'm going to be having the time of my life and I actually do think I'm going to keep this. I didn't really mean for that to turn into like a TED talk situation but it's just something we got to keep talking about it. Like you are so fucking perfect the way you are. So please, whatever body that you currently reside in right now, please put a bathing suit on if you feel comfortable and jump in the water and have the best time of your fucking life because you deserve it. Next up, again, sort of as like a mix and match, like put it together type of situation, I decided to do a pink number. I feel like I get a pink bathing suit every summer. I love pink. It's still probably one of my favorite colors of all time, but this one, just like taking it out of the package, it was a little bit different than I anticipated. So I'll start with the top and that's kind of where I'm like a little bit saddened, I guess you could say. So this top, which I'm gonna need to like adjust, this is a really cute kind of like ruffle cap sleeve top. And I just thought that this was so adorable. It's really similar to the other one where it has the sort of long line piece in the front, which is definitely what I'm looking for. And then it has these cute ties in the back here with like just a little accent on the shoulder. And I think it's adorable, but this color, I'm really unsure about. So I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but if you've ever accidentally washed something pink with like something black in your washing machine, like the black dye from a pair of jeans or something stains your clothing, that's kind of what this reminds me of, especially when you hold it up next to the actual pink. So I thought this was gonna be like a pink and purple situation, but it's really just kind of like a pink and then this top sort of looks a little bit dirty. I don't know, we'll see when I try it on, but I got these bottoms, which are the same ones as the red pair. These are just a high-waisted, the crotch looks very small, now that I'm looking at this. We'll see. It's the same high-waisted ruched in the front pair. Again, pretty full coverage, but there wasn't that much to choose from. I did manage to find a high cut. That was my favorite, favorite, favorite type of bottoms that they had, but they didn't have one that matched this. So I decided to go for this. I don't know. I really wanted this to be like a pastel dream, but we'll see. So here's the thing. It, it's it's not bad. Starting with the bottoms again, it is weird because like the red pair that I tried on previously, it didn't feel as crotchy. This feels a little bit narrower, but that could just be me thinking that, I'm not sure. And then the top, mm, here's what the back looks like with it all tied up. It's got the cute little like beads at the end right here and it's crisscrossed in the back. And then it's got the cute little like ruffles like I showed. I definitely have gained boob size over the years that I've gained weight, but by no means do I have like large boobs. And I feel like I am busting out of this. Like I'm busting out on this side, I'm busting out right here. So if you were a larger chested person, I definitely wouldn't recommend this top for you. Like I mentioned, I really do think Airy is an amazing brand and I love them and I ride for them always, but I do think that they have room for improvement in the sizing department, just being honest. So yeah, the bottoms I really do like. And then the top, I think it's gonna have to go back it's the color. It's just the cut of it. I just feel very exposed and like I want to, you know, enjoy myself, but I don't want to be constantly worried about like 
something popping out, you know? While it is very cute, I really do love the way it looks like this. I just think I need to find a different top. I wanna find a top that matches better. I wanna find a top that doesn't really look like, see, I feel like my boobs are eating this. I'm constantly having to pull it down. So I wanna find a top that doesn't look like I washed it with a set of darks and this is the way it came out. So cute, but not my fave. Next up, speaking of the high cut bottoms that I was mentioning earlier in the video, I did manage to pick up a high cut pair and it is in this like really warm brown color color and I'm obsessed. It's also kind of ribbed in a way, but it's like a much more thin material. I don't know. This just seems right up my alley right now. And then the top to go with it is the matching top. And this is kind of like almost like a tankini top. Like this is giving me tankini vibes, but I'm really into that. And also like this could totally double as a top. Like if I were to just wear these cut off shorts, it would kind of be a look. And I just love that each year Ari does put out some just really cool neutral colors, but like elevated a little bit like this or like a red brick brown or different colors of like a khaki green or what have you. Like I just, I'm into that. So I know that it's just basically a brown bathing suit, but I'm really into that. And then to go with it as a little accessory to spice it up a little, if you will. I picked up this sarong, which is in a leopard print, which is leopard print like on its way out. I don't know. I I still love it, but I have noticed myself kind of pulling away from the leopard print, like the really intense leopard print like I used to. It's in one size, which makes me a little bit nervous. The size is literally one size, so I'm hoping that it'll be able to like tie around my waist nicely. There's a little tag here that shows like a bunch of different ways you can wear it as like a scarf or around your waist or, or like around your chest as kind of a dress type of situation. So I figured this with the neutral tones will go with most of the bathing suits that I have. And sometimes when you're like at the pool, on the beach, you just want to cover up a little bit more if you're like walking inside to go to the bathroom or walking I don't know anywhere so yeah we'll see what all three of these look like together as a little beach look I'm hoping that I'm gonna be living my best life in it very soon so let's see what it looks like this is definitely my favorite so far every hesitation I had about this sarong definitely goes out the window. I definitely feel like the sarong is a win. And then here is what the bathing suit looks like. This is my favorite by far. I just love the long line tops. It's where I feel the most comfortable. And there's like a little built-in bra situation here. So it's like even better. I'm definitely gonna go back and order this one in more colors. This is gonna be like my go-to bathing suit for the summer, I can tell you already. I love the way that the bottoms cut and it's a little strangely fitted because I'm tucking my underwear into it. I'll try to show you a little bit of it, but like, again, you know, tan lines, underwear, things happening. Easy, comfy swimsuit. I genuinely don't have any critiques about it. It has these adjustable straps in the back here. Again, don't look at my underwear. I love this. This is definitely my favorite. I feel like a bad bitch in this. I'm not gonna lie. Just being honest. I'm so excited about this. I am really, really pleased so far. And for the last two options, I picked out some one pieces because I feel like I love having a good one piece for those days where I really wanna swim. Maybe I'm on my period and I'm bloated or just don't feel like wearing two pieces that day. And the first one that I picked out is a little different than I remember, but we're going with it. It is this one shoulder, extremely like neon pastel green. And I'm very excited about this, but also I don't know if you can see that perfectly but the string or like the strap of the bathing suit has this very beachy like gold hardware kind of wrapped string vibe I'm not sure but we'll see what that ends up looking like it's like I did not notice that at all I thought it was just kind of plain but it does have little bra pads all of these have little pads in them which I appreciate because sometimes my nipples just get really hard in the pool and there's nothing wrong with nipples I've never been opposed to a nipple showing it's like people have nipples get the fuck over it but sometimes it's like a nice little extra extra padding if you like it. It's there for if you need it. You can take it out if you don't. And then on the back, it has like a little cutout. It's pretty much an open back entirely actually with this little tie and stuff. So I don't know. I'm like, I thought that this would be a fun little neon kind of pastel color to try on to throw in the mix. I don't think I've ever owned a bathing suit this color. So let's see what it looks like. I'm not gonna lie. This one is a little disappointing and I'm sad about it. You probably couldn't see from far away that the boob pad is just like incredibly lumpy and just like it, there's not much shape to it and like my boob doesn't actually fill out this area like the boob pad goes to right here my boobs like here same with on this side like it just it doesn't 
fit right. Like the boobs just look really weird. I do like the cut of it. Like I like this bottom part and stuff. I like the strap. I think it's adorable, but just the way that my boobs are just don't fit this at all whatsoever. There's no kind of like support or anything like that. So it's just, there's just a lot going on. And the strap is interesting. Like the way it ties, is different than I anticipated and it's hard to tie on yourself. It's cute, like the open back is cute. I love the bottoms, I love the way it looks. It's just like this part right here that I don't really understand. So it's just not a good one. I'm really sad about this. I really, really wanted this to work out. I'm loving this color right now. If you have a much bigger chest than me, you might have better luck. Although, you know, I do feel like any moment now. <laughs> That's just one shoulder though in general. So yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't really love it, but that's why I make these videos, to let you know. And the last suit is this little blue number. I was immediately drawn to this when I saw it, and I'm really curious to see how this is gonna work because I ordered this in an extra large long because I do have a pretty long torso, especially when it comes to wearing things that are strapless. Like, I feel like when I wear the normal size that it's supposed to be meant for, if you will, it's like right here on my boobs. So I'm hoping that it'll be long enough, but I do remember trying on an extra large long when I did my airy try on last year for bathing suits and I'm pretty sure it was like way too long so I don't know we're gonna test it out but again more padding it's got this cute little tie on the side here I feel like it shows enough skin to where you feel like you're not wearing like a grandma bathing suit there's nothing wrong with grandma bathing suits it's just like sometimes you don't want to wear one it also does come with a little strap so if you want to do a, like a halter situation or actually attach the straps to it so you have a little bit more support that's an option as well but let's see what it looks like let's end this on a good note please please fingers crossed okay you know what I'm pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure how this was gonna work out, again, because the extra large long thing, which I mean, sure, like it's, you know, I have some extra room, if you will, but I am a pretty tall person. I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so it honestly does kind of work. And I just love this little tie here. I feel like it shows the perfect amount of skin, but like it's still strapless. This is like, honestly, my dream bathing suit. And I'm not just saying that. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I ordered this in the extra large long because the extra large was sold out and I was like, oh, I'll try it. And I'm pleasantly surprised. Like this actually is probably my favorite. It does feel just like slightly loose, especially up here on the top, but I do have straps here. So if I felt like hooking the straps in there to like feel a little bit more secure, I might do that, but it's a really cute suit. I'm genuinely so happy with it. I feel like Aerie just really nails it with the one pieces and just kind of having like fun, still sexy, like don't feel like you're wearing a grandma bathing suit, but at the same time you feel like covered and comfortable. Man, this is a good one. This was a heavy hitter. I love it. I'm so happy. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. If you know of any sustainable and size inclusive bathing suits that you recommend that you want to see me review, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do it. I'd love to know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. Are there any that you have your eye on? Of course, as always, if any of these bathing suits are still available, they will be linked in the description box below. And yeah, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.